Hey everybody, Brian from DMB Homesteading. Wanted to do the uh, lower yard walk here and show you some of the cleanup that we did this weekend in the yard. Well, we, myself, Paul is still out of town visiting relatives. So I planted some more uh, bush beans inside these pots here. And you can see the, uh, the Monte Cristo pole beans are starting to come up. I had to put some sluggo in there because we had a little visitor that took off a few of the tops of them, so I had to get that in there for it. But uh, that tray seems to be sprouting a little sooner than this one over here. This one here got pretty decimated with that little birds that were getting in it. That's why I had to put this wire mesh on top. But, uh, so I reseeded some of that tray. I don't know if the seeds were pulled apart or what. But, and you can see the pea. I cleaned off the pea trellises. And I've got the uh, area down there ready for some more mulch. And then I'll be putting the, uh, the beans when these get a little bit bigger. These pole beans, I'm going to put those all on those trellises there. And then I just did a chop and drop for all the, uh, the old peas. Tossed it right down in there in the wildflower area. Let it rot down and give some nutrients there. Squash seems to be doing pretty well. We had to, uh, had to live trap the bunny rabbit because it decided that it wanted to eat every one of the eggplants that I had back here. <laughs> so we have, we've got one eggplant that's just kind of barely hanging on back there. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it, uh, it ate through my eggplants. So I put it in a live trap, or caught it in a live trap and took it down to a little park we have down on the road from us. Dropped him off there. I have plenty of uh, friends to play with because there's other rabbits there. And the little birds are angry that I'm out here. You can see the tomatoes are starting to turn. You can see this arch has got tomatoes all the way over the top of it now. I've been coming down here and picking my evening meals for my veggies. And these tomatoes are over the top here, coming this way. I've been guiding them back and forth, but I'm getting kind of running out of room in there. Squash are doing really well. There's some new growth down there. These seem to be a pretty good spot for, for squash because I've got this peach tree here that's uh, giving it a little bit of shade from that hot afternoon sun. The ones that are in the direct sun, they've got a lot of, a lot of sun scald on their, their leaves. So they're not producing as much as they were. I wasn't say the eggplants in this box, they seem to be thriving pretty good. You can see there's quite a bit of eggplant growth there, but you'll notice on that one there, there's a hole chewed in it from Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> this, this box is basically the kind of the line in the sand where I said that's enough. Little rabbit guy's got to go, and Paula wasn't too happy that I was going to take him and you know, drop him off somewhere, but you know, you have to, you have to do those kind of things when you want to have food and you're not trying to feed nature all the time. But most of the time it left, left the white ones alone, so you can see there's a pretty good sized white one back there, that snowy, snowy white eggplant. There's another, there's another one there. This one over here was buried by the squash, so I had to kind of reroute the squash away from it. So it should start growing pretty good now. Sunflowers are poking up here. And we got some tomatoes back here. And these are squashes. Doing pretty well. You can see it got pretty, pretty burned there with the sun. We've been up in the, the mid 90s and today, I believe today we're supposed to hit 100 on Sunday. So you can only do so much when it comes to, you know, the the weather blasting down on you this time of year in the Pacific Northwest. This is our hot time. There's some more sunflowers. You can see the squash is really doing well over here. There's some pretty good sized ones back here. There's one there. That's a gray griller. I think there's an orange or a yellow squash somewhere down in here. I saw it yesterday. That's another gray griller. There's a yellow squash. This plant here has been getting really hammered by the sun. Tomatoes are doing good though. Tomatoes over here are doing really well. 
I mean, they're just going gangbusters. You can see they're just, they're just tons of fruit set all through here. So we'll have a lot of nice, uh, these are the Montesino F1s. They're the salad tomato. They're a grape. They have a really thick skin too, so they're really good for chopping up and putting into salads. You can see there's a lot of new set, tomato set here, all through here. This is going to be so cool. Getting to have walk underneath here and pick trellis tomatoes. Let's see, we'll go over here and see the cucumbers. Punakiras are doing well. You can see there's a lot of a lot of flowering. And they're climbing up pretty nice. We got a lot of cucumbers on here for Paula to pick when she gets back. You can see in there. Found a good recipe I want to have her try on the uh, Farmer's Almanac website for crisp pickles. She made some pickles a couple years ago that uh, kind of mushy. <laughs> Maybe there's a pea. Ooh, look at that. All right, breakfast. Well, I guess that's kind of the lower yard for today. It's been Brian from P&B Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.